took that korbani. Abraham took the sacrifice and offered it in place of his son Isaac. And God accepted the substitutionary sacrifice. God accepted the korbani. And Jesus Christ is the korbani. Jesus Christ is the sacrifice that God has provided for sin. Jesus Christ alone can take away your sin. Amen. There is no other way that sin can be removed. Only through God's beloved Son, Jesus Christ. The only way your sin can be taken away is through Jesus Christ. Not even your son would atone for your sin. If Abraham had offered his son, he wouldn't have put away his sin. But it was the blood of the Lamb. It was the sacrifice that took away sin. In the Jews, when the children of Israel were in Egypt, they had to kill a Passover lamb. And they had to put the blood of the Passover lamb over their lintels and over their doorposts. And God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Today, the Jews do not have the blood. They don't have the blood over their doorways. What did it point to? It pointed to Jesus Christ. It pointed to Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who would take away the sin of the world. The blood of Jesus Christ was shed for the remission of sin, for the forgiveness of sin. And you all need to have your sins forgiven. There's not one of you here today who is without sin. Only Jesus Christ was without sin. That's why only he can take away your sin. By his sacrifice that he made at the cross of Calvary. And you need your sin forgiven. God commands all men everywhere to repent. Because he has appointed a day in which he will judge this world in righteousness. And God is going to judge this world by Jesus Christ. He is the only one qualified to judge because Jesus Christ was the only one without sin. Everyone else has sinned. Abraham sinned when he said Sarah was his sister and not his wife. Moses sinned when he got angry with the children of Israel and struck the rock. They all sinned because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But God sent his own word, his own beloved son into the world, the one by whom he had made all things. And he came into the world as man. And he came for one purpose, to put away sin, to put away sin. And that's what Jesus Christ has done. He has put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And now he has risen from the dead to go and prepare a place in heaven for all those who believe in him. Every true believer, not the hypocrites, not the deceivers, not those who have a false faith or a feigned faith, but those who have true faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, they will be in heaven with him because he has gone to prepare a place for all those who are truly penitent. And what you need today is a broken spirit and a contrite heart. That's who he came to save. He came to bind up the broken hearted and to set the captive free. And those of you who know that you are sinful, there's hope for you. It's the ones who don't think that they are sinful. There's no hope for them. But Jesus Christ came to save sinners. Jesus Christ himself said, when they said, this man receives sinners and he eats and drinks with them. Jesus Christ received prostitutes, harlots, tax collectors, people who were sinners. And he came to heal them. He came to save them. He came to save sinners. And it's only when you know that you are a sinner. It's only when you know that you have offended God's holy law that there is hope for you. Because Jesus Christ alone kept the moral law of God perfectly. That's why you need to be justified by his obedience and not by your works. It is not by works of righteousness that we have done. Even if you make a pilgrimage, if you make a pilgrimage to Rome, or you make a pilgrimage to Mecca, or you pray ten times a day, 
It will not take away your sin. Even if you do your fasting and your prayer time and time again, it will not put away your sin. It is only the sacrifice of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary that alone puts away sin. And you need to have your sin forgiven. You need a savior. Everyone in this world needs a savior. Jesus Christ did not come to call those who think that they're good people. He came to call sinners to repentance. And that's what God requires of you, a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Because the spirit of the Lord God was upon Christ to bind up the brokenhearted, to heal the brokenhearted, to preach the gospel, the good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. He came to preach and to preach and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. But when Jesus Christ came the first time, he didn't come for the day of vengeance of our God. You see, that's when he comes again. And that's why he stopped short at Isaiah 61. He didn't say, and the day of vengeance of our God, because he had not come in vengeance. He'd come in mercy. He'd come in grace. He'd come to forgive men's sins. But when he comes again, it will be the day of vengeance of our God. We are told in the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians, that God is coming, Christ is coming in flaming fire, taking vengeance on all them that do not know God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. You think if you've been a bad Muslim, you can go to hell and come out again? That's a lie. That is a lie. Because once you're in hell, you're there forever. And when Jesus Christ comes again, the wicked will suffer everlasting punishment from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Like Jesus more than you. What is your question? We appreciate and like Jesus more than you. My question is, I went to where to Christian Christianity. This man says we appreciate Jesus. And we like Jesus more than you Christians. Well, so this is not a hot chocolate, me, sir. If any man preach any other Jesus than that which we have preached to you, let him be a curse. And the Islamic Jesus is not the Jesus of the Holy Bible. It's not the same Jesus. It's another Jesus. And the Apostle Paul said, if anyone preach any other Jesus than that you have received, let him be a curse. The Jesus that I have believed in is the one who died for my sin. The one who put away my sin by his sacrifice, his korbani on the cross.